What's up guys, Adrian here and welcome to another episode of my monthly video series where I present to you my TSX dividend stock picks of the month. So Black Friday continues uh, for stocks all over the world. It's never been a better time to invest to really lock in some really nice dividend yields. So in last month's video, in my April picks, um, I focused on the energy and aviation industries, both of which have had huge declines due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So if you haven't seen it, please make sure to check it out because uh, those picks are still a great buys right now in this month's video though i will focus on two other industries um, that have been hit very hard as well real estate and restaurants so just a quick re uh, disclaimer or reminder before i unveil my picks i'm not a certified financial advisor and don't have any financial background whatsoever i've been investing in the stock market on my own since 2012 and own a dividend stock portfolio of over six hundred thousand dollars which generates uh around four thousand dollars a month in passive income so i definitely um consider myself an income investor and my investment strategy uh, exclusively exclusively deals with dividend paying stocks and focuses on the passive income that they provide via those dividends. So let's get started with the picks. So stock pick number one is American Hotel uh, Income Properties REIT. Stock symbol is HOT.UN. So this REIT owns hotel properties in the U.S. They have two segments, uh, rail hotels, 50 properties, and branded hotels, 79 properties. So rail hotels are lower scale hotels near uh, railroads to accommodate railroad workers. And the uh, branded hotels are more upper scale properties uh, for leisure travel. So over the years, the company has sh been shifting gradually towards those leisure uh, hotels because they're more profitable so if we look at the stock price uh the one year high uh, is seven dollars and 49 cents which translates to a dividend yield of 8.35 percent canadian and the reason why i put two, two uh, dividend yields there is because these guys give their distribution uh, in us dollars and if we look at the most recent price april 30th um, the price is only two dollars and 84 cents so this translates to a humongous dividend yield of over 22 percent uh, canadian if we would lock in this wreath right now so this REIT has been especially hit hard because of the COVID-19, uh, more specifically the travel restrictions um, caused by that. So they uh, also recently reduced their dividend by 30% in February, one month before um, the pandemic broke out. And now they actually suspended their dividend altogether in March 2020. So the stock took a huge hit because of that. So it dropped to a low of $1.12, but it's already recovering. The dividend will be re-enabled eventually once travel bans are lifted, but it's uh, just a matter of time. So my main takeaway for this one is there's huge value and relative safety for patient investors. So this is a REIT. Don't forget, guys, the main purpose of a REIT is to provide consistent dividends. So it will be re-enabled at some point. We just need to be patient. Um, I also think it might even be reduced, but uh, even though that they all had already reduced it in February 2020, but let's say they even reduce it by half, you're still getting a dividend, you're still locking in a, a dividend yield of 11%, which is just phenomenal. Pick number two is another REIT. It's called the HR REIT. So HR.UN is a stock symbol. So this REIT is one of the biggest in Canada. They're very well diversified. They own a $14.5 billion worth of office, retail, industrial, and residential real estate, not only in Canada, but also in the US. So their one year high price is $23.66, which translates to a dividend yield of 5.83% a year. And the most recent price of April 30th is $9.86, which translates to a humongous dividend yield of 14 percent so out of the bigger REITs in Canada H&R has been hit the hardest which makes it the best value in my opinion I have put some other REITs there so you can compare I would say that this is definitely a less risky pick uh, than pick number one the dividend has not been cut or suspended as of yet they did announce that 83 percent of April rents have been received they also announced that they suspended major construction projects and cut costs so no dividend cut or a suspension here as of yet my takeaway for this one is a pretty huge value for a big and well diversified REIT so the dividend reduction I would say is unlikely but even an extreme cut like 50% would mean a 7% dividend yield. Not bad for a really big and safe uh, real estate investment trust. All right, so pick number three is the Brookfield Property Partners um, Income Fund. BPY.UN is the stock symbol. So these guys are massive. They own real estate all around the world and 
every segment imaginable. They have o about $88 billion worth of real estate. So their one-year uh, high price was $28.35, which translates to a yield um, of 6.38% Canadian. These guys also, by the way, give their uh, distribution in US dollars. That's why there's the exchange rate there. And the uh, most recent price of April 30th is $13.03, which translates to a really, really big yield of 13.89% Canadian. So this is definitely, I would say, less risky than pick number one and pick number two because it's a much bigger real estate company. Uh, these guys give a quarterly dividend. It has not been cut or suspended. They also raise their dividend uh, every single year. Um, they release a statement regarding uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. You can see here I pulled out a little quote. Our business model is robust and is defensive against economic and real estate cycles, which will allow us to ride out the storm. So they pretty much reassured uh, their shareholders. If ever you want to read the whole statement, I uh, put a hyperlink. You just have to click on the statement here. So my takeaway for this one, this stock is extremely oversold in my opinion for such a big and well diversified REIT company. It's a great time to buy into a, a safe stock with such a big uh, dividend yield. Uh, I would say that the dividend cut is very highly unlikely uh, because I think that these guys are big, in, big enough to ride out uh, the storm. So enough of real estate now. Pick number four is a restaurant company. It's the Boston Pizza Royalties a Fund. So BPF.UN is the stock symbol. So Boston Pizza is Canada's number one casual dining brand. They have uh, 395 locations in Canada, US, and Mexico. So the one-year high, uh, high price is $18.17, which translates to a dividend yield of 7.59%. But right now, the stock price is $8.14, which gives you a dividend yield of a little over uh, 15%. So unfortunately, Boston Pizza had to suspend their dividend temporarily because of COVID-19. Makes perfect sense. Uh, they had to close their restaurants. Um, they also announced that they laid off half its corporate staff on March 27. And these guys, um, they reduced their annual dividend by 11% in February, one month before. Um, the uh, the pandemic just by a small amount 11 percent but uh, I mean this is just like a double whammy the more bad news in a short period of time in a stock the more down it goes that's why I really think it's a good value pick by the way if you're interested in other really good restaurant picks I made a, a recent video on five restaurant franchisees that are really really good stock picks right now because a lot of them are suffering uh, because of the restaurant closure closure so if you want to check out that video I put the link uh, right here so uh, the takeaway for this one, it's, it's a huge yield of potential for patient investors because the dividend is suspended right now. But let's not forget, this is a royalty fund. The main purpose is actually to provide a consistent dividend to its shareholders. So it will be re-enabled eventually. It's just a matter of time. I also like that this is a big franchise company. They've been around for a really, really long time. And I'm very confident in the management team. So my final pick for this month is Decisive Dividend Corporation. The stock symbol is a DE. So these guys are a very interesting company. Uh, it, it was made to acquire or buy out successful manufacturing businesses in order to provide shareholders with stable and growing dividends. So just look at the name. This is uh, the, the name Decisive Dividend is really what uh, drew me to this company in the first place. So right now they own five businesses. So their one year high price is uh, $4.17, which translates to a yield of 8.63%. But they took a really big hit recently. So the most recent in price is $1.45, which translates to a really big yield of almost 25%. So the reason why it nosedive is because they suspended their dividend temporarily because of COVID-19. The main reason that they gave wasn't for a financial reason. They just said it was out of an abundance of caution. So these uh, this management team is really, really cautious, which is, 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 is a good thing. Financially, they're very, very well-disciplined company. Uh, they actually recently re uh, released their 2019 fourth quarter results. They were very positive. They actually, their, po their profit, sorry, was up 29%. And they also reiterated in the statement their commitment to paying a dividend. So my takeaway for this one, it's a huge yield potential for patient investors, once again, because the dividend suspended. But the whole point of this company, uh, again, just look at the name, is to, is to provide a dividend. So uh, they also reiterated their commitment to paying the dividend 
dividend. So it's just a matter of time before they reinstate reinstated. I think that uh, this company uh, is was hugely oversold. It was hugely exaggerated. So a really good time to pick it up quickly and to lock in a really nice yield. Once they re-enable the dividend, I'm sure you'll be happy. So there you have it guys, those are my picks for the month of May. As usual, you could download the, the presentation for free. Just check out the video description below to find the link. And also don't forget that the stock symbols in the presentation are hyperlinked. So if you click on them, you will be uh, directed to the company's website if ever you wanna do more research on the company uh, yourself. So please let me know if you agree or disagree with any one of my picks, or if you have any picks of your own you wanna share, I'll be more than happy to check those out and provide my opinion. So thanks for watching watching guys uh, i really appreciate it make sure you're subscribed and click on the little bell next to uh, the subscribe button so you don't miss out on next month's stock picks so take care guys and see you next time